um, living in D.C., you know, well, growing up in D.C., you worry about black-on-black crime a lot every day. Um, recently, I had a friend that just lost a child that was murdered. That's 11. So um, moving to North Carolina was eye-opening because it's bigger than just black-on-black crime. It's, it's different. Um, living here has been really different um, because they have the right to carry a weapon, conceal a weapon. We're not used to that. So we went to a restaurant, and um, seeing that was just really difficult. It was really uncomfortable. You know, with racism and everything that's happening in the world, a lot of people are struggling with, with mental things that affect them with anxiety and depression and PTSD. So um, going through this over these last couple of months um, since George Floyd, it's been really difficult for me um, because I am struggling with that, with anxiety. But I, I do have one thing I want to say at the end, quote, um, you can't solve a problem with the same mind that created it. So I think that if people just change their mindset, sit back and evaluate themselves, everybody, and um, the world would be so much different if we can just all look at self and just change your mindset, not look at the color of a person's skin, give each other the same opportunity. It shouldn't be about being privileged. That's my take.